The green control. A very important job. The green controller. It was a quiet day. The engines were sleeping at the sheds. Pussy was all alone up. Suddenly, he said, Top of Madeline. He was in his car. Pussy was very surprised to see Lady Hat. Sir Topham is, is sick, he announced Granny. He, he has his lost voice. his voice. Percy was, Percy was worried, and he finds it soon, he peeped up. Sir Topham would give me a list of jobs. Lady Hack continued, continued. Listen, listen very carefully. Gordon, Gordon is the correct coaches of China from Napa to take them to Brandon Docks. He must pull the coaches very slowly. Slow, Slow coaches, coaches pee pussy. James, James is to shunt tracks in the coal yard. He, he must be as busy, busy as, as a bee. Busy bee, pa pussy, carefully. And, and Connor is to take, take visitors from Mayfway to, to the Goddish Castle. He must he go must as go fast as, fast as Gordon's Con Express. Express. Gordon's Express, oh, Papa Pussy. You're, You're in charge now, Pussy. So Lady, Lady Hatch. And she left. Should you? Just then Thomas woke up. I'm the control for the day, P Pussy proudly. Do you need any help? Thomas asked his friend. Controllers don't need help. Leash Pussy. And off he chuffed. Percy found Gordon first. So Topham ha has lost his voice, Pa Percy. So I'm controller until he finds it. Gordon was surprised. Percy tried hard to remember what Lady Hatta says. You must pull very slow coaches, repeated proudly. Oh, the indignity, Puff Gordon. Because he had a lot to do, and he has lots to remember. Next, Percy found James at the wash them. James, you must be a busy bee, pee pee. James gasp. Do you mean I have to be painted yellow and black? You are so weakly. Yes, James, Percy says sternly. But why, snorted James. Percy tried to pee boomingly because I'm controller. And then Percy puffed off. Next, Percy found Connor. Connor, you must pull. Gordon's Express, he, he told him. Why, Connor asked. He was very puzzled. That's your job, people see boomily. Percy felt very important. Later, Percy decides time to check on his engines. He knew that's the top of the hat would do. Children was waiting on the bridge. Percy said hello. The children was working down the track. Gordon was puffing very slowly down the line. The children began to laugh. What for Gordon? They cried. What a slow coach. Then James stopped at the signal. The children laughed again. Who is that giant like BB? They called. Finally, Connor huffed in with the heavy express. He was very tired. James and Toby Gordon, and James, and Connor heard the children laughing. Then they saw Percy watching them. Gordon called out to Percy. I'm supposed to be the, I'm supposed to be the fastest engine on Soto. Not the slowest. I'm supposed to be the reddest engine, Mo James. And no one knows who I am. And I'm only a steam rocket. I pull the express sometimes, but this express is too heavy for me to pull. Percy was worried. He knew that he had made lots of mistakes. Choo choo. Then Thomas puffed behind him. What's wrong, Percy? He asked his friend. Please help me, Thomas. I can't remember what Lady Hat told me. All the engines are doing the wrong jobs. Thomas thought for a moment. 
you must go back over your tracks, he says. You must see things that will help you remember. Percy thought that was a very good idea. Thomas and Percy poured into Nafford Station. Gordon and Swell Coaches. Papa Percy. Suddenly, Percy saw Craig trying to wing on the platform. That's it, Percy cried. Gordon is to take the China to bring them down. He must pull his coaches very slowly. Percy and Thomas popped into the coal mine. James must be a busy bee, Percy says firmly. But there were lots of grumbling trucks waiting to be judged. That's it. James just shunt lots of trucks, so he must be as busy as a bee. Finally, Percy and Thomas arrived at Mayfleet Station. Connor might pull Gordon's Express, he said. Suddenly, Percy saw a group of visitors waiting on the platform. That the Percy cried harder to take the visitors to the Scottish Castle. He had to go as fast as Gordon's Express. Well done, Thomas Puff happily. By the end of the day, all of the engines were doing the right jobs. That evening, Sir Top and Hash came to the sheds. You have done very well, Percy, he boomed. I'm very pleased. And I'm very pleased you found your voice, Percy peeped happily. Sir Top and Hash smiled. But I don't never lose it again, Percy added. 